Hello everyone, welcome to the C Sharp tutorials section of our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates. This lesson is all about the decision control structures in C Sharp, specifically the switch statement. The lesson includes sample programs to better understand how switch statement works in C Sharp. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to 1. Demonstrate essential understanding on the switch statement. 2. Create a program that implements the concept of switch statement. 3. Solve problems using the concept of switch statement in C-sharp. The example source code presented below is an example of switch statement in C-sharp. In this C-sharp program, we have declared two variables, user input of string type and number of integer type. The console program will ask the user to enter a number. That value will be stored into the user input variable since read line method reads the line of characters from the standard input stream. The value is in a form of string and we will convert it into an integer type using the convert. To int32. This is necessary since we will be comparing numbers in our switch statement. Next is the value of the expression is compared with the values of each case. If there is a match, the associated block of code is executed. The default keyword is optional and specifies some code to run if there is no case match. Line 1. We utilize the using keyword to add namespaces and class files. Class, interface, and abstract class information is displayed on the current page. Console is a system member function or method. The console function is required to display and read user input, hence it must be included first. Line 3. The name of the program is C-sharp switch statement. Line 7. Main method is the entry point of all C-sharp programs. Line 9. Variable declaration, user input is the variable name of string type. It simply means that the variable can accept alphanumeric values. Line 10. Another variable has been declared, number is the variable name of integer type. Line 11. This line will display the text enter a number, in the console. Line 12. Console.readLine takes the value entered and stores it in the user input variable that we have declared in line 8. Line 13. The purpose of this line is to convert the user input into an integer and store it in the number variable. Line 14 to 24. This is the scope of the switch statement. The statement will start at line 14 and ends at line 24. Line 14. This is the switch expression and this is only evaluated once. Line 16. This is the first case to be compared. If the value of the number is 10 then this case will be executed and the switch statement will end. User input is 10 will be displayed in the console. Line 18. This is the second case to be compared. If the value of the number is 20 then this case will be executed and the switch statement will end. User input is 20 will be displayed in the console. Line 20. This is the third case to be compared. If the value of the number is 30 then this case will be executed and the switch statement will end. User input is 30 will be displayed in the console. Line 22. This is the default case and this is the block of code that will be executed if the value of our number variable has no match to any cases. None matches will be displayed in the console. Line 25. The purpose of this line is to prevent the console from closing unless the user will press a key in the keyboard. Watch the video for the demonstration.
The main advantage of switch statements is that they allow you to execute a particular block of code based on a particular condition. This can be a more efficient way of executing code than using a series of if-else statements. Additionally, switch statements are often easier to read and understand than a series of if-else statements. We hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Wishing you the best of luck with your projects. Happy coding! Thank you for watching. For more tutorials on C Sharp, please like, share, and subscribe to your channel. Happy coding!